Tony's going to be bringing up copies of the notes. We are in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 7 through 16. And there's several things going on in these verses. This is the closing chapter of Hebrews. Um, I'll read through it. I'll read the first verses that we covered last week and read into uh, our text today. Uh, three times the leaders are going to be mentioned in this chapter. The leaders that are mentioned in this, this verse, chapter 13, verse 7, appear to be leaders that have already done their work and they've died, they've passed on. Not martyred, there's no indication that they were martyred, because uh, it already says earlier in the book that you have not yet shed your blood. Although there have been martyrdoms in Jerusalem, starting with uh, uh, James, John's brother, early on. Uh, 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 of <coughs> course, Stephen was stoned. James was pushed off the Temple Mount. Uh, if we, this, this, this verse is going to be interesting, these set of verses, because as we know, the German, Jer, Jewish wars are 66 to 70 A.D. If this is 63 A.D., which is not absolute, it's just what I'm working on, uh, we're going to have uh, these things taking place at this time right here, before 66 A.D. John is going to leave Jerusalem and take Mary, Jesus' mother, up to Ephesus. Also, Simeon, now this is just church history. It's not mentioned in this chapter, but I, for, as I'm reading these verses, this book of Hebrews almost s- appears, and, which it is. It, if it's not 63 A.D., we're within a few months of this. It, it seems to be talking to this, this church, this congregation, this group of people. Simeon is the bishop. After uh, James is pushed off the Temple Mount right around 63 A.D. and beaten, Simeon, his cousin, becomes the bishop of the Church of Jerusalem. Sometime when John goes to...